There are 17 million homes that have the availability for this show tonight that will pay $20, hopefully for the privilege to see you guys do what you have done for three and a half years. Thank Terry Funk for all he has done for this company, for helping to put us on the map, for being unselfish in selfish times, for taking the young guys and showing them a better way. Tonight we have a chance to say, yeah, you're right. We're too extreme. We're too wild. We're too out of control. We're too full of our own shit. Or we have a chance to say, hey, fuck you, you're wrong. Fuck you, we're right. Because you have made it to the dance. Because believe me, this is the dance. When you hear that, what does that mean to you? Paul Heyman. <laughs> this is, uh, uh, I sound like a Paul Heyman speech. Um, you know, it, it was exactly encapsulating what, you know, up to that point. Remember, again, I said like earlier. You know, Vince McMahon was after calling us the bingo hall company, the minor leagues, the small pond. Uh, and in spite of not having a billion-dollar corporation behind us, in spite of not having a national outlet, in spite of all the things that were stacked against ECW, here we were on pay-per-view. Uh, and, you know, there was the X factor. And, and, and I've often said, you see me say it on Twitter almost daily, the fans, the fans were digging and finding. They, it wasn't like we were bringing ECW to them. They were digging to find ECW. They were hearing about it through the sheets, uh, the fledgling internet at that time, uh, the prodigious trading of tapes back and forth around the world. Uh, and it was this underground flavor, this, you know, this illegal thing almost that you shouldn't be allowed to see. And yet somehow if you work hard enough, you can see it. And the fans fought for it and found it. And if not for the fans, we would have been another indie company that came and went in Philadelphia. And instead, because of the fans, uh, we've got, you know, we've often called them the sixth man on the bench. The fans made ECW the legend that it became the lightning in a bottle that it became. And, you know, I often get asked, you know, can it happen again? You know, anything can happen again. You know, it's, uh, you know, a meteorite could strike the planet tomorrow and sanitize it of, of life. Uh, who knows? I mean, anything can happen twice. But the fact that all those things lined up properly, uh, we had an incredible mind in Paul Heyman writing the general storylines. We had an incredible dressing room of talent that was a- executing and implementing those storylines. And we had the best goddamn fans on the planet that were following ECW and digging to find it. And in spite of all the odds stacked against us, you know, it it was like Taz said, FTW was fuck the world. Fuck Vince McMahon. ECW is here and, you know, we're staking our claim. It, It really was, you know, magic in a bottle. 